Yet this lion is the king of the jungle. Huge mane out there. He's so big. He's so hot. Now, the little lion comes. They start messing with him. Biting his tail, biting his ears. He doesn't do anything. The lioness, she starts messing with him. Coming over, making trouble. Still, nothing. Now, the other animals, they notice this. And they start to move in. I love that Trump posted this ad on Truth Social where his wife is thrown under the bus. The lioness, she starts messing with him. <laughs> but he does nothing. You know, this this stoic reserved man, you know, yeah. he's just waiting. He's waiting That's for his right. the strong man is waiting for his moment. We associate bounce. with Trump is stoicism. Right, sure. right, Absolutely. right. Totally. Unflappable. So the <laughs> monologue that you hear in the background is Christopher Walken in from the film Pool Hall Junkies. I thought I recognized that voice. Mm. And uh, if you thought that was over the top, uh, wait till you get a load of the next clip. It goes on. It's amazing. Let's watch. The jackals, hyenas, the barking at him, laughing at him. They nip his toes and eat the food that's in his domain. They do this and they get closer and closer and bolder and bolder till one day. That line gets up and tears the out of everybody. I just love that the ad shows the footage of Nancy Pelosi doing the weakest political like action imaginable. Like where she doesn't actually hold a bit, like she's just ripping up his speech. It's like oh, bold. <laughs> and like we clowned her for that. And we clowned Democrats who were like, wow, look what Nancy Pelosi did. It's like the illusion of political governance, right? Yes, like, queen. Yeah, the yes, queen moment. It's like, you guys thought it was bold? I, apparently they thought it was bold, I, we didn't, but okay. Yeah. Um, okay, <laughs> let me just be honest about something. Even though the, lie, uh, the ad is full of lies, and we'll show you why in a moment. It's a good political ad. I think it's a good political it's, ad. It's over the top, but it's good. It's good and Trump recognizes like, I don't have to have self awareness about this. This ad is comparing me to a lion. I know the lion is the king of the jungle. <laughs> Stamp, <laughs> approved, totally. that's it. I don't need to know anything else. I'm a lion in this ad, <laughs> it's getting posted, <laughs> yes. bye. Yes, yes. That's it. That's it, that's it. It's so over the top. So. Um, so the deranged fantasy of Trump tearing the crap out of Democrats. And then you see like the footage of like these elderly, yeah. like you know, really. They don't seem too scary. Yeah, uh, they're not the scariest Democrats. Yeah, at least you could say somebody like you know Ilhan Omar or uh, you know somebody younger. With more vigor and just yeah, more or like, like AOC, vitality. Yeah, AOC, AOC. That, that footage of her wearing the white suit. Right, like right, right. Walking. Powerful. Yeah. yeah, but no, they use. Um, yeah. These people don't look powerful. They don't exactly, look menacing. Exactly. They are feeble. Yeah, that's a better word. Yeah. That's, that's a good word. Now, uh, one more clip from the actual ad, and then we'll show you uh, our, our own version of the ad. That line gets up and tears the out of everybody. Runs like the wind, eats everything in his path. Because every once in a while, the lion has to show the jackals who he is. No, it's so over the top. It's so funny. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Look at that footage. Uh, yeah, that's oh, a two-hander. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of two hands, I mean, nothing like communicated, messaged lion to me than yeah. like that moment where he needed both his hands to like sip a glass of water. Oh my strength. goodness! Strength. Uh, he caught a hat he out the hat. air. That was like you good know, hand-eye coordination. There's no difference than yeah. I was watching football last night, but like catching a football in traffic and getting it's the same. Just the same. Catching a hat, a, a MAGA hat. That oh my is God, just, has he ever tried out for the NFL? <laughs> Ooh, Donald Trump or yeah. me? No. Oh, oh, no, Donald no, Trump. But you yeah. too, I guess. I no, mean, no, 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 no. I'm okay. done. I've been done with athletics for like 20 years now. Yeah. Yeah. High school was it for me. Well, we. Uh, <laughs>
let's show you what the reality is, right? Because like the fact of the matter is Trump, dude, it is mid 70s. Yeah. There's actual footage out there kind of discounting, counter counterbalancing what we just saw. So let's watch. Question, Mr. President, you said if you see someone getting ready to throw a tomato, just knock the crap out of them, would you? That was your statement? Answer, Trump. Oh yeah, it was very dangerous. President Trump celebrated this astronomical occasion by viewing it from the Truman balcony at the White House with the First Lady. But as many have pointed out, it looks like he broke the one rule of eclipse viewing. Crazy Joe Biden is trying to act like a tough guy. Actually, he is weak, both mentally and physically. And yet he threatens me for the second time with physical assault. He doesn't know me, but he would go down fast and hard crying all the way. The reports were they were so weary they brought you downstairs in the White House to a bunker. What could you tell me Sunday night Sunday night was like for you and your family? Well, it was a false report. Uh, I wasn't down. I went down uh, during the day and I was there for a tiny little short period of time. And it was much more for an inspection. There was no problem during the day. It was like an ice skating rink. I said, General, there's no way I can make it down that ramp without falling on my ass, General. Turned out to be worse than anything. I would have been better off if I fell and slid down the damn ramp. <laughs> what a lie. <laughs> Lord, I love all of it. Just he's just a tough, he's just a tough, sturdy man. Okay, but my uh, one actual serious point I really want to make is Democrats need to get better at mocking Republicans, mocking Trump. I think the whole fear mongering about him, mm -hmm. you know, using hyperbole in regard to him and what he's gonna do to the country. And by the way, I think he is incredibly damaging to the country. I'm not minimizing that, but that messaging hasn't worked. It will continue to fail. Mm -hmm. You gotta hit him where it hurts. And so what is it about Trump that vo his voters find so appealing about him? They've bought into the branding. They've mm -hmm. bought into the marketing where he's represented as like this tough guy, this strong leader. Yeah. But in reality, he's a coward. He, I mean, he wanted to deny that he ran into a bunker during mm -hmm. BLM protests, but he couldn't even lie about it. He's like, I mean, I did go during the day, <laughs> during the day, <laughs> for a short period of time. Okay, so you went to the bunker. You went to the bunker because you were afraid of the protesters. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the problem with the Dems is that they're still in this sort of old world politics mm -hmm. of like civility and decorum and all of this stuff. And when really you just gotta meet this guy where he lives and you do gotta get in the mud. All of this, yes. they go low, we go high crap. We gotta throw that out. We gotta get in this yes. guy's grill piece and actually say some things that might hurt his feelings and embarrass him. Yes, no, embarrass him. I mean, I don't care about hurting his feelings at all, but embarrass him. More importantly, embarrass voters who bought into the notion yeah. that he's like this big, strong, tough leader. Yeah. Right? Because like that's like people like that Andrew Tate guy, I don't know if you're familiar with that. Dude. I just heard he got banned from some yeah. social media. I don't his know whole about his bread stuff. and butter is I I know how to get the ladies. <laughs> like I'm, you know, I'm a Lothario. Like yeah, I, yeah. You know, but that's the kind of thing that will. But dude's ugly. <laughs> like he's unattractive. <laughs> so just call it what it is. He's ugly. Like I wouldn't sleep with him if my life. If the, if the future of humanity depended on it. So instead of be like, mm, he's misogynistic. Yeah, he is misogynistic. That is his brand. Yeah. Why are you helping him brand himself? Right. Hit him where it hurts and it's honest as well. He's just unattractive. And dude yeah. shouldn't be getting advice from a guy who probably yeah, isn't putting the PUA really, the way he claims to. No, no, he's he's definitely not doing that. And I think you you're on to something because the thing that enraged Trump the most was yeah. when he got roasted at Barry's, you know, state yeah. correspondence thing. Like that enraged him yes. more than anything. So all yeah. of this stuff that they try to do with you, you're not even a billionaire. And it's like, yo, it bro, it don't work, work like that. Yeah. Like, you gotta hit this guy where it hurts. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. We really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. 
you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.